Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy, this is Wadwell, and we are back at Antioch CrossFit in Northern California. Today we're doing the CrossFit Benchmark Wad Diane. Our athletes are Jess and Jeff. Let's talk about the Wad. All right, so Jeff, we're doing classic Diane today. Pretty basic rep scheme, 21-15-9. Deadlifts, 225. I know that's completely manageable for you. And handstand push up so this should be really easy for you. I know uh, this isn't your first time doing this. Probably strong lumbar curve here. Yeah. Save your back. Yeah. Breaking at the knees. Like since I'm like 5'6", I'm pretty short and I got a short torso. Um, if I were to stiff leg it, actually, I can actually get it out faster than if I were to actually bend over. Yeah. What would you, what can you remember saying I would do that differently or I would approach that differently last time? Uh, I wouldn't be at 4.15 in the morning. <laughs> uh, that and not breaking up my handstand push-ups. That's what actually killed me is uh, the rest, the rest period in between the handstand push-ups. Because I know that I could do 21 straight, and that's why I try to stay consistent. But I broke up at 15 and took a step away from the wall longer than I needed to. And you felt like it wasn't necessary. Yeah. Okay. Just unbroken all the way through on a 21. On the 21. On the 15. Same thing. Same. And uh, all the way through on all, all the way movement. Through. On both movements. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Man, this will be fun to watch. Thanks. Have fun with it. Okay, Jess. You've done this before. I have, and I'm hoping. 155 on the deadlift, are you a little worried about that? I'm worried about handstand push-ups. I have good days and I have bad days on that. My last best time is 850, and that was a good day. I probably broke up my deadlifts half and half for the most part, and then handstand push-ups. <laughs> Definitely kipping with your handstand push-ups? Yes, kipping today. My biggest problem is finding that comfortable spot for my hands on the ground. Yeah. Um, if I have that spot down, then my kids are great. If I just can't find that comfortable spot, then they're a little awkward. I know what you mean. Yeah. Good luck. Have fun with it. Thanks. Three, two, one, go! Nice, Jess. Nice, Jess. Let's go, Jess. Good job, buddy. All set. Let's go. Yeah. There you go. Good job, buddy. Let's go, Jeff. There you go. Come on, Jeff. Oh. 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 Come on, Jeff. Make it up. Good. Right, Keep it going, baby. Oh. Wait, yep. Nice job, buddy. Nice, Jess. Leg, nice job.
Keep it up. Great job. Jeff, yeah. you killed it, buddy, but uh, yeah. how do you feel about that? Uh, I'm a little disappointed because I think I doubled my time for my PR. Um, what do you think the difference was? I'm not one for excuses, so I think it was uh, the lack of my upper body strength when it comes to doing the handstand push-ups. Uh, we had a wad yesterday, and I knew I shouldn't have did it, so it was lack of preparation. Um, we did uh, 22 ball balls times eight and uh, five handstand push-ups times eight, so upper too. body's uh, a little shot right well, now. Fried, you started feeling it during the wad? Yeah, I felt it right at uh, its 15 rep round, and it completely plateaued at that point. But usually, I'm pretty good on 15, and my deadlifts felt really good, yeah. and my handstand push-ups, they, they completely failed. I'm going to go back to the drawing board and try to get my sub three minutes PR. Or maybe try not to do so many handstand push-ups the day before. That or go back to 4.15 in the morning, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, I thought you did a great job. Man. I Thank you. you doing it. Thank you. Thank you. Jess, great work. Really. You, you powered through on those. You got a few no reps, which are pain. You know, that's hard. I hate um, But uh, at the same time, you kept moving. And that's you add some plates for the first time. I mean, that those two inch, inch and a half makes a difference. That's a it's big, rough. you know. I wanted you, to cry at the end there. I just was getting so frustrated. Yeah, I feel you. But uh, you know, when you only have like 10 or 12 inches of range of motion, you add an inch and a half. That's like 10, 15 percent extra. If you do that again, fresh, right now, would you do it differently? And if so, how? I think I would just, um, since the plates were my first, I probably would have done about, even if it would take up energy, five or ten, get comfortable with them. So Warm up I was, on the plates. Yeah, so I was ready to go. Yeah. I felt like my first set was all like practice, you know. Right. But to and me, then I went and moved them right before yeah, the wire. No, I just can't. So to me, I guess I won't be hard on myself, and I'll take away that. I guess the plates was my PR today. Yeah, first time. New PR. So, yeah, you so can't thanks. compare that to your old PR. Nice job. I thought you did awesome. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. No problem. All right, thanks for watching. We do one of these every week, so be sure to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.